welcome to this month's two minute tip. This time I'm going to show you how to automatically name your outputs within a model in 2016. Firstly you need to set up your input port operator to specify that a raster file needs to be entered into the model as well as input a get base name and a get containing directory operator. This allows you to obtain where the imagery you are going to process is located as well as the base name of the image you are going to process. It's um, if you change true to false, you will also get the file extension at the end. We're going to leave it off because we want to put um, a suffix at the end to say this is the output, not the original. Next, we're going to use a cat operator to concatenate a extra string onto our base name. And put underscore output. And now I'm going to add the file extension in as well, so it's dot ing. Um, now we have the file name as well as output.img at the end. So now we need to link up the containing directory name as well as the uh, base name. Firstly we need to change the output to a string from data and then add a extra forward slash onto the end. and then merge the two using yet another cat operator. Make sure they're the right way around. You want your base name, um, your containing directory before the base name. And there you go, you can see the full uh, string there. And enter it into the file name in of your raster output. Now if I click run in batch, you see that I only get one um, variable to change here, which is just the input file, which means if I add all my other inputs, that's all you need to do now to batch run this model. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this month's two minutes.